Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode seven, uh, 18 of Sink Into Madness, a mod pack by John Bam and M1 Jordan Allen. So in the last episode we worked on the base a lot and we got some water going and we got all of the, the uh, uh, essence being processed and I set up all of the processing down here. Let's go to the next floor so you can see where, how it's coming along. So you had seen this already, that was a setup, the basic setup, but look at the floor. I made a crazy ton of ultra storage box. Now have 880,000. So I still don't have Prismarine shard. These things are Prosperity shard. Um, I wish they were Prismarine shard, but I don't have any. I still don't know or remember how and where the Prismarine shard came from in my other playthrough. Keep thinking it might be only from defeating some mobs so let's go upstairs and I want to start working on something today let's see my stencil do I have a knife stencil that's a large sword blade pattern let's take the battery cell and let's make a knife pattern and I'm going to need some cobblestone and some carbon and from the car the cobblestone I'm going to make a knife blade then I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm go oh I'm gonna need some gold also. Unless there's already some gold, but I don't want to take a chance and have to come back downstairs. So today we're going to make oh there was gold, so I didn't need to do that. Perfect. Let's put some carbon in because I don't think we're gonna have enough carbon. So I wanna make four carbon knife blade. One Pretty sure you guys already have an idea of where I'm going with this. So one, two, might as well put the two gold since I'm here. Two. Three. Oh, I remember why I wanted the eight ingot. So that's not enough, oh, but plus two, okay. So 10, so that's enough. So that's four blade. And then the rest of the gold, I'm going to make into plates. Uh, the plates are for the unbreakable. So that's one. Uh, while I'm waiting for this here, I'll just quickly go downstairs and go see if uh, I have enough, what's it called again, if I have enough obsidian. I've been making some obsidian and thinking I, <laughs> I'm thinking I have enough now. It's not a problem anymore. And I have to go back upstairs. Until I finish fixing the base, this is going to be a bit awkward. So let's get this done. I'm just waiting for the gold. So that's three. That's going to be four. Mm. I'm sorry if I got quiet. I muted the mic and I had to uh, say something to my son. And that's going to be five. Perfect. So let's go back downstairs. And let's put all of this in here. I'm going to get rid of this. I, I want to get rid of a lot of things. Just try and clean up my inventory a little bit. Uh, everything's repaired, so I don't need any of this. I don't need that. So, I need this table now. I'm going to take this table away. And I'm going to come in here and... What do I have? I have three bricks. I need... Yeah, I need exactly three. So, wow. Tool station. Well, it's not sync yet. So, tool station, I need to build the better version of the tool station. So, that, the tool force, sorry. Ooh, wait, tool forge, whew. You thought it was only the one from uh, steel. One, two, three, four. And let's make the tool forge like so. And now that I have a tool forge, I also need the unbreaking or the plate of something. Let me just search quickly if I can find it. Uh, I don't remember the name, but I remember how to do it. So obsidian, eight around like that. And then I need the plate of gold. Gold. Where are my plates? Um, hmm, 
Blank cast. Oh my god, I would never have known this. At least there's always the visual to find it. So I'm going to make five unbreakable plate. Um, what are they called? Reinforcement. Now I can put this down. And first, we're going to make a shuriken. That's the best def uh, offensive weapon from afar. And then I'm going to make it unbreakable. Let's go like this. One, two, three. I'm out of modifier. Okay, so that's the problem. I only have three modifier. I'm going to have to kill a couple of mob to be able to finally uh, upgrade it maximum. So first I need, how much is the first level? I need 250 XP. So not here. Let's go see at the mob farm if I can find any poor little mobs that are willing to die for my weapon. I really need this weapon be- oh. Where are you? No. I thought I had just found them up. So let's grab this one. How much experience is that? 57. So that's going well. And, oh. I have to be careful not to be too much on the left. Hey, and it kept my up- no, it kept some of my upgrade, not the one with the damage. This is, I have to be honest, this is really annoying, and I still have my magnet on, which is why it's not working so well. So, 132. Just let's continue like that. Hopefully I get some more experience. 182. Come on, come on. I'm trying to kill all of the mob as fast as possible, because I need the level for the unbreaking. 182, I'm not hitting any more mobs. So, is this better? 182, 232, yeah. Come on, more mobs. Yeah, really not helping. My, my mob farm decide to stop producing when I need it the most. If I come out here, is there any mob that I can see outside of my farm? If I go around the corner here, no, nope, nothing. Hmm. So you get the point. The only problem that I have right now is that until my tool is fully upgraded, I don't want to go to the nether. Hmm, around here. Oh, I can't exit here. I'm going to have to break this and then make a step. So let's just back away and put this here now can I yeah perfect okay so now at least I can come around here are there this is crazy when it's night and you want to go outside there's always too many mob and you can't do it it's too dangerous when you're looking for mobs to kill guess what there's not a single mob in sight for you to kill so you have to admit that's a little bit funny so let's go down three level and what if I come down here? I feel like I'm taking too many chances. Does it work against a horse? <gasps> yes, it does. It works against passive mob. So I wanted to keep those mob to bring to the nether. But I guess I can kill a couple just to level up. Especially those horses. I don't think that those horses are passive mob. So that's done. How much XP do am I missing? 233. Let's get that dark horse also. Let's get the sheep. This horse. I'm pretty much going to kill everything. Uh, or not. Yes, this one and that one. Whoa. So that one's killed. That one's killed. And two level. Perfect. So I can get out of here now. So what it's going to do is it's going to enable me to make this ma uh, this uh, what's it called this shuriken indestructible. So one more and one more and now look at this. I can throw it as much as I want without ever having a single problem of losing resistance. And it's still going to level up. So the next level I'm going to put more. Oh, I'm looking at the attack damage and it says 21.93. And from the book, let's just open the book, the quest book. If I remember from the quest book, 
we are maxed out at 20 damage in this pack. Uh, quest, click here to show quest, getting in the getting started quest. Is it here? Uh, you can do 20x carbon. No, the max amount of damage a player can do is 20x. So we're already doing 21.93 right here. So there's no point ever um, doing more than that. 157. No, see the ammo don't go down anymore. So that's perfect. I'm going to show all of that in here. And we now have a perfect weapon for the nether. What about my juice situation? So juice situation, I'm still good. What else do I want for the nether? Oh, I know what I want for the nether. I want to be able to grab a lot of stuff. So I want to make a golden bag of holding. I think it's the best thing you can use in this pack to carry stuff. I looked into some ender pouch, but there's no, uh, there's no ender pouch in this mod pack. I need some magical wood, which it's broken. The magical wood recipe is broken in this mod pack. It doesn't show, but you really need a bookshelf. So I'll create a bookshelf right now, uh, bookshelf, and I'll grab one gold ingot. And then I'll grab a crafting table because you do need, do I really need a standard crafting table or can I, yo, I can do it with this. Perfect. So bag like so. Perfect. So look at this bringing a lot more space with me for when I go in the nether. I don't want to bring the quest book with me and where's the bird? Ooh, there's mob down there. And I can hit it from there, which means more experience. I'm just going to back away a little bit because they seem to be able to catch you through. Wow. I think you get XP for every hit you do. And since this mob is like 60, 164, I can make a lot of damage to it before it dies. And my experience on it, oh, 194. It's not going up. So it only counts on death. I thought it counted for every hit that worked. We'll know really soon. So what's the XP now? 359. So it does count, but only if you do kill the mob. Can I hit this one from here? Oh, just a bit higher. Yeah, there is a max range on this, unfortunately. It would be too amazing otherwise. Like, it, It's already a little bit OP for a weapon. So I guess they have to kind of balance it with range. Can I hit this cow from here? Oh, yes. But I won't be able because it's backing out every time. So unless it dies on the next hit, that's going to be too far. Oh, come on. Not giving me a single chance. Oh, well, it's not. I don't really need the extra level anyway. So now I have all of this. What I wanted to do is get some more... Um, book and quill but remember last episode we did some book and quill for the enchantment we ran out of dark of uh, ink sack so i'm just gonna have to sieve a little bit <gasps> oh boy that is so dangerous i can't believe i didn't see that brick <laughs> give me some brick i think it's two that i needed to fix oh this is so scary I could have fallen in the water because I still don't have a way to survive the water. I think that water survival is something I'm going to address in the next episode. So for time being, I'll just close up that gap and start one hink sack. I need, so I have fire protection here and I want to put just a protection on the other three. Maybe one blast protection on the booth, boots and protection on these two. What are the enchantment though? Let me just take a quick look. I, that's something I forgot to do in between episode. So XP boost, auto smelt, protection one needs dark steel, fire protection. I already have that feather falling. Blast protection needs gunpowder. So dark steel. I have a lot of, no, that's wither dust. No, the dark steel are not planted. Okay. Um, I don't really need that much solarium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the solarium slot with the dark steel. Hello. 
with the dark steel. Perfect. And I'm just going to break the solarium. Just die quickly! Wow, it's not doing a lot of damage. I thought it was supposed to do 20 per shot, but you can see the health not really going down. I really don't understand how it's working, or in my case, not working. 25, 21, it's doing like 3 or 4 per hit only. Whoa! I'm about to die! This is crazy! I never really noticed. What is my armor doing? It feels like my armor is so weak. So this carbon shuriken's not really doing as much damage as I was hoping. So finally it died. And how much XP it gave me? Oh, wow. Okay, so it did give me a lot of XP. It's still scary that I almost die, but it was a lot of XP. So my dark steel's in there, so I'm going to be producing dark steel, and I can technically go back to farming for two more ink sac. I'm tired of the ink sac situation. So if you look at ink sac, you produce them with dye essence, and the dye seed you make with dye cluster. In dye cluster, you need orange dye, magenta dye, cyan dye, and ink sac. So in my time lapse, I'm going to be making nature seed and... Um, these dye seeds so that I never have to deal with ink sac again but in the meantime I'm just going to make sure that I get the three that I need hopefully it goes really fast just so I can finish enchanting my armor and then we're going to go oh that's three and then we're going to go to the nether because today I want to catch my pinky so book and quill Quill like this. I'm going to need some more book. Let's craft some more book. One, two, three. And books and quill. It's all three. Let's put that back in there. And let's put the sand back in there. And now dark steel. I might not have enough dark steel yet. Oh. That really sucks. So gunpowder. Perfect. So I can at least do the gunpowder one. And I'm going to need some lapis. Because blast protection, a lot of mobs seem to explode in the nether. So I think it's a good thing. So that's one blast protection, four. And I'm going to need an anvil. Let's craft an anvil. No, I don't have the iron block. One, two, three. Anvil. Nope, I don't want to drop this. Let's put that in front right here. And then enchant... I'm going to put the blast protection on the boots. The other way around. Perfect. Okay. And now I still need the dark steel. Another eight. Is that going to give me 64? No. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that fertilizer essence because it's going to make things go faster. You see, just using it on it. I have 1600 and it's not like I'm ever going to use all of it. So basically I can just use this to accelerate whatever production I want at the moment. Uh, like this. And I need basically 64 divided by four is 16. And to make four I need eight. So <laughs> I think I need exactly the same amount of essence that I would need um, dark steel. Or no, that, that makes no sense whatsoever. I need two essence per dark steel. So I need two stacks of dark steel essence per stack of essence because eight essence give eight essence gives four. Dark steel, 83. Let's do this. That should give me at least a stack, a stack in 20. So I'm going to grab some more essence. I'm just going to finish this as fast as I can. Okay. 
Uh, sorry for that noise. It seems that the dog made something fall. So that's the thing. I don't have the house all to myself when I want to record. So there is bound to be some incident, but I'll have muted the sound down a little bit so that it's not quite as bad for you when it actually happened. But for me, it was super loud. So I'm just trying to finish this as soon as I can because, like I said, today it's been more than 20 minutes. No, it's been exactly 20 minute recording and I want to have time to go to the nether. I want to go and attack the pinky and uh, find the succubus. And hopefully with my better armor, this won't be an issue. I'm, I'm still scared of going to the nether because now I have so much good armor and good stuff on me that if I die and lose all of this, that, that would be very very painful but it's also a proof of concept that if I had this kind of armor when it was time to uh, do my second playthrough that it would be the right way to protect myself so one that's the second one right now and now I'm going to put that on those two pieces of armor so piece of armor oh I'm out of experience that's the beautiful thing about my 24k solidified experience so when I say out of experience, I never really mean out of experience because this is how easy it is to just get experience to do your stuff. Et voila, I have a fully enchanted. So protection four, protection four, fire protection four, and blast protection four. So technically, I should be almost invincible right now. I have some juice to heal. I'm only missing basically my taco that I made last time. I'm going to grab two diamond taco and I'm gonna grab a golden apple which is going to be my oh my god I'm dying I need to take something to make sure that I what happened to my tacos I said two tacos okay that was just weird so let's close all of this let's go back up and we're in the middle of the day which means everything's perfect I still need to close this but this is all work that I'm going to do on the base in between episode oh I don't want that uh, wrench I'm not bringing anything that I don't necessarily need in the nether because there's no point taking the risk I put that there and I'm gonna put these close and now it's time for adventure so let's just take a quick look at the book again and I have two so I'm gonna bring one with me just to be able to see if it does register so if, oh huh I completely forgot we made the taco so finally we completed whoa we completed an extra quest this right here secret spies diamond taco let's grab this reward back everyday tacos if you're having trouble surviving tacos will be the answer heck tacos are always the answer am I right some taco have some pretty sweet buff explore all your option in JEI the spice for them drop from zombies tier 2 tacos double the buff strength so clear so tier 2 taco what are tier two taco huh so these tier two taco what's a tier two diamond so no tier two quartz no tier two emerald tacos look at this regeneration two <gasps> this is, um they're not craftable oh yeah they are so tier two taco you need four secret spice and you need four block of no that makes no sense that's the iron taco tier two taco taco is no tier two iron taco tier two coal taco tier two lapis tier two so the tier two emerald are not craftable I'm gonna raise this issue with the mod pack designer because that's the one you need with regeneration and resistance lock slowness water breathing doesn't matter fire resistance weakness too uh, regeneration too so I guess maybe the tier 2 iron taco but how do you make the crunchy taco by cooking a soft tortilla I just want to see if I can make one tortilla oh so one thing I wanted to say I'm gonna open this I'm gonna go and make this taco cook for hopper that would have been useful in the beginning not now so one thing that I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to huh, lose my train of thought that 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 was very exciting 
So let's go with Crunchy Taco. Crunchy pork, crunchy chicken, crunchy fish. So like this, and then from this, what can we craft? We can craft this tier 2 taco. Which means I need... Oh, okay, I know what I wanted to say. So what I wanted to say is that I really need to uh, make a spawner for zombies only. Like a, a powered spawner that crafts zombie so that I can get more spice. Because... Remember last episode, we spent all of the spice, and since there, we got 12 more. It's a lot, but it's not enough for perfect survival. So let me go back here, continuing the journey, and we still need to kill these two. And if I look at the name, Pigmen, we know we killed one. Blaze, we know we killed one. So a Pinky and a Succubus. Did I make Sepharinet? Yeah, I did make Sepharinet last episode. So let's take two safari net and give me my taco back. And let's go downstairs. Uh, hopefully there isn't any mob. No, and I'm just going to be grabbing some livestock. So I'm going to grab a stallion and I'm going to grab a pig. Perfect. I'm going to bring that to the nether. Oh, that sucks. Nope. Okay, so that's not very useful. Let's go close. Please grab it. Oh, yes. So in case you didn't know what happened, I'm missing a staircase. Right? No. Nope. And then I make the same mistake. Oh, how am I going to fix that problem? So I need to grab that one. And then I need to put those two there and jump. Okay, so I need to fix that because it's going to be annoying if I can't go back up. Imagine if it had been an emergency situation. And now we have our safari net, we have our tacos, we have our golden apple. We have everything that we want. There's this feather though that we don't care about. Let's drop the feather and now let's go to the nether immediately before it's, it's fully night and I'm in danger. Oi. <laughs> That's a bad start. I already have damage. But anyway, let's go to the nether. So let's load the nether. And we're going to go adventuring. The My game crashed. What the heck happened? So you're now looking at a still image, but my game just crashed. It seems that the nether is not working. Uh, hopefully my game is still good. I'm going to be looking into what the problem is and I'm going to get back to you as soon as I've found how to fix my problem. So guys, I'll be back in a moment for you. Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm back. It's been a millisecond for you, but for me it's been two freaking hours. And the nether is done. It's completely broken. So I'm a safe YouTuber. I'm the kind of person that takes a backup before and after every episode. So in the last two hours, here's what I tried. I've restored the backup from end of episode 17. Can't go to the nether. I, I guess these cables are invisible. Sorry. Then I restored a backup from uh, before game 17. The nether is broken. I restored a game from... Uh, pre-17 broken and I went back to 16 and then it worked so something in between episodes 16 and 18 completely broke my nether I have no idea what or how which means we'll never be able to complete the quest book for the nether but to be fair I have um, I've posted information about how to get a crash report because I want to post this bug because I'm hoping that I'll get a response by John Bam and be able to fix this. There's no guarantee that I will get a response so that it will be fixable. I even tried resetting the nether. So I found a post on Reddit where someone said, De delete your dim dash one um, folder. So I tried that and it still didn't work. I tried replacing the DIM1 folder from my episode 16 and 15, and that didn't work either. Basically, I tried a lot of things, and I'm in IT, so 
I really tried a lot of things. I don't know how to get the crash report. The moment I have information on how to get the crash report, I'll send it and hopefully it can be fixed. And if it can't be fixed and this game is totally broken, I'm asking your opinion. I, As you know, I've been planning season two. I'm not quite ready to start it. So what I was thinking of doing maybe was just uh, force completing this quest in uh, cheat mode and just say it's completed. Just to be able to continue progressing along those quests to see where it's going. Or I'll just go to season two. It's just that I wasn't quite ready with all of my planning for season two because I don't want to die. I want season two to be a perfect run. I don't want to ever have to die. So I'll, I hope I'll get some feedback from you guys and or I'll get a fix to my nether problem. So what I wanted to do in the meantime is at least complete this whole track line, which means I need to do some airship upgrade and some armor stand. And I was thinking of looking into that uh, carbon armor. So the carbon armor are made with carbon block, which you can no longer make this way. You have to actually melt the carbon and make the block themselves. Do I have any tinker brick lying around? No. Do I have some grout? Yes, 11. So let's go cook that grout because there's no point keeping the grout. It's not something that's going to be very useful. I'm going to grab one of the hoppers and I'm going to show you a quick and dirty way of automating your furnace. Let's go back. Oh, upstairs, not downstairs. So a quick and dirty automation of the furnace is to basically, I don't know if it works from the top. Do this and put, oh yes, it works. So basically you put this on top. Usually I put it on the face or I put this in the corner so I can access it from the side. But now I'm going to be making, see I already have two blocks of carbon. I'm going to be producing as much carbon block as I can so I can try the carbon armor. Uh, what's the other thing that I need? I'm going to make some more carbon because I'm not going to have enough. So let's just do this block of coal. Let's make 64 block times 3. 2. Oh, wow, laggy much. I'm wondering if the crash... At least I didn't lose my whole game save file and I don't have to redo that episode. Um, so three stack and what's what I want? I wanted the brick. With the brick 12, I can make the, um, what's it called again? The casting basin. And I can use three to make another spout, another faucet, sorry, not a spout. So let's go downstairs quickly and put these in here to cook into carbon. And then let's go back upstairs and I'll put this one in front here and I'll put a faucet right there. And then the carbon can be made into carbon block. And I'm going to need 23, 24 to make a full armor, but 23 because I already have the rest. And I think I don't want to be here for this, so I might need to try and find a way to automate this. Because they even take a long time uh, solidifying. So let's go back down here and... While we're waiting for this, let's do the upgrade. So I want to make a workbench. Work, uh, not safari, workbench. And the workbench is made from four block of coal, a crafting table, two lapis, and a lava crystal. Do I even have lava crystal? No. So I need some obsidian. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I already have obsidian. So let's go upstairs. No, this way, right. Oh, this visual bug is going to be really annoying. So I'm going to grab this bucket quickly and I'm going to grab the water up here. So now this is filling with lava oh, or obsidian. Oh, it's full. And I'm going to make two lava crystals. So lava, lava crystal, and lava. Lava crystal. The reason I made two, very simple. That's what it's going to... Um, uh, I'm going to make two pyrothium dust because the recipe is two pyrothium dust at a time. So I might as well make two lava crystal. So let's get rid of all of this. Oh, this is annoying. The shift click doesn't always work for me. I don't know why. 
So pyrothium, let's make some pyrothium dust. And now let's transform these two ore lava crystal into lava crystal. And now let's look at the workbench again, and we should be able to do this recipe. Wait, the lava crystal right here, et voila! Armor plus book. So I'm going to put the, I'm going to put this right here. Workbench, show recipe. Let's look at the book instead. So armor plus book, armor effect, coal. Oh, there's no, it just tells you. If you make coal armor, it gives you night vision. If you make lapis armor, it gives you water breeding. If you make redstone armor, it gives you speed two. If you make emerald armor, it gives you ace two. So basically it's each set of armor gives you one power. There doesn't seem to be a way of making a super great armor. Although, if you look at the ultimate armor, water breathing, regeneration 2 oh. oh, that's good. Saturation and flight. Ultimate armor it is. That's the one we're making right now. Let's, let's make the ultimate armor right now. Ultimate armor. The ultimate helmet. The most overpowered armor. <laughs> what is this? I need an all-time tech bench. And then the ultimate material and... Ch okay, charge lava crystal easy, so that's not a worry. What are these? The ultimate element right. Which is all this ultimate material and a wither bone and a superstar element, which is wither bone and nether star, so I'm going to have to kill a lot of wither. Ultimate element metal is an end crystal, okay? End crystal, and what else? Ender dragon scale. Used to craft the ender dragon weapon, armor, and the ultimate material. Drop by the ender dragon and ender dragon zombies. So I don't know what the ender dragon zombies are. That's probably the right option because ender dragon, we can only beat once unless there's a way to recreate the dragon once. And the rest seems pretty easy. The ender dragon Helmet is more Ender Dragon scale. Uh, so what is this ultimate material? It's one Wither Bone, one Guardian scale, one Ender Dragon scale, Charge Lava Crystal, and the Guardian scale. Oh, I get from Seething Prismarine. I wish I had Prismarine. How do I get Prismarine? From Prismarine Chard. How do I get Prismarine Chard? From Guardian Essence. And how do I get Guardian Essence? From Guardian Chunk which means prismarine chart. So I still need to find how to get a uh, drop from Aptus. I, I don't know what Aptus is. I'm going to make a search online and find what the Aptus are so that I can at least have... Is this thing carrying... This thing is carrying a stupid creeper. Really? The bird is bringing a creeper to my base. You know what? Stay outside. I don't care. So anyway, we're also going to need the Ultra Altai Tech Bench. So this is made from a high tech bench and a workbench and some ultimate material. So I'm going to need ultimate material before that. And the high tech bench is made from block of redstone and charged lava crystal and a workbench. So this is easy. It's the Altai Tech Bench that is very hard. So until we kill the Ender Dragon, there's no point. There's nothing we can do with that. Let's go back upstairs. And let's continue these block. But I, oh, I wanted to automate that because that's just going to take too long. So let's go down here. I'm going to grab, I'm going to do a very ghetto optimization. I'm going to get one chest. I'm going to get a, can I make, is there a clock in this redstone clock? Huh? There's this redstone clock, and... Oh, that redstone clock's more easy. So let's make that redstone clock. Like this. And let's get an ender conduit. Conduit. Like so. And let's go back upstairs. So I'm going to put the ender clock on top of this right here. Which is going to turn it on and off. But it's still going to be on long enough to put some material in here. Then I'm going to put a chest right under here. And I'm going to put an item conduit this way so I can extract always active. Extract always active. And going to put this to insert. So I should 
mm, no, disable. I don't want you connected here. Which means that the second that I have enough carbon in there, I'll get my next. Oh, that's because it was connected before. Okay, so at least this way I'm going to start getting carbon block. Let's go back down here because I also already have a carbon block right here. So I have five carbon blocks, so technically I can make the carbon element. Plus two armor, toughness, plus three armor, plus two armor, toughness, plus three armor. But what can I do with this? Can I enchant it? What if I used uh, blast protection was gunpowder? Do I have gunpowder? Yes. Do I have book and quill? I just want to see if I can enchant it. Book and quill. Oh, I'm still out. Oh, darn. I'm still out of the um, black uh, squid ink. Uh, ink sack, sorry. Let's see if I can get an ink sack quickly just by doing this. Nope, I don't want the cocoa beans. Give me an ink sack. Two, three. I really need to make the nature and die seed. Like I said, that's what I'm going to be doing in my time lapse. That and continue cleaning up the base because I would like another farming level. I know it's a fourth level, but if I'm going to be making die seed and nature seed and I need to remove my solarium seed to be able to Come on, I got all of my ink sacks so quickly in the other try, this is surprising. So, book and quill right here, do this, do that, book and quill, come right here, blast protection, like so, and let's see if I can put it on this type of armor. Yes, blast protection four. So, at least that. What are the other recipe? So I don't want XP boost, auto smell protection, fire protection. I Do I have enough dark steel? In my other playthrough, I found that the dark steel armor could only have one enchanted seam because I added more than one, but it didn't show in the list of enchantments. So let's see if for that one, it's going to be the same thing. This, like so. Oh, I need another book and quill. Back to the ink sack factory. I, I really should have taken care of that in the last episode. I just never thought that I would need so many ink sack. Well, last episode. I mean, two episodes ago when I made my first ink sack. I should have used the first four to make the seeds immediately. So let's continue. Oh, here you go. So now that I have the ink sack, I can make the book and quill. Like this. Oh, no book. Oh, this is really funny. But I'm well protected. Oh, no, I'm not so well protected. <gasps> okay, let's go in here. My little protection room right now. Oh, boy. Oh, please survive. <gasps> no! And I'm dead. And I'm respawning in my safe room. No! Would you get out of my safe room? And I'm just going to wait for the event to end. And hopefully I didn't lose all of my items. That would be really crazy. The stupid weird red fire. I hope it doesn't destroy any item. Oh, and I got hit with... <gasps> I don't even have access to... Where did it... And I died, and I'm going to respawn exactly where I'm going to die again. Unless I'm able to... Oh! I killed him! Man, that was lucky. <laughs> I have one life. So that's two more death. That's shameful. But I never... I thought my protection was going to be good enough. I never thought that the stupid wood would burn. I never had an event with f burning fire. That's so bad. Did he just poison me by looking at me? Wow. Come on. 
Hopefully everything just dies. Hmm. I don't know how to get out of that one. I think I'm going to have to break this by hand to make a hole to be able to go downstairs. And okay, I'm going to have to break one more. And hopefully that's going to work. I never installed turrets in my other section of the base. So I'm going to fall down here and I don't know what I'm going to meet. So I'm going to put all of this here. And I died. So respawn. And let's fall again. I don't seem to have lost anything. Wow. Okay, so that was very lucky. Although, again, if this was a one death event, if I was playing on one death only, I would have died. Which is the one thing I honestly don't understand from this mod pack. Like, it seems to be so, so punitive. So, like, one single event and not being able to react on time or go to the right place or the right room and bam, you're dead. And it did destroy something. It destroyed my pants. So now I'm pantless, uh, bootless. So I'm going to have to recraft my boots in my time lapse. That, that literally sucks. That's the one thing that I wish it never did. I wish it was the gravestone. Like, I do understand wanting to make a game very hard. But I'm kind of curious to know if even you guys agree that there is something maybe too hard about this mod pack that there is a craziness to the idea that the moment you, well first of all the moment you die it's over that already is a bit too much like you can't even win an extra life in this mod pack and you in, can only start getting more life when you start killing the wither and the wither fight oh my god you haven't seen that fight yet but it is a very very hard fight Anyway, I made boss protection. I was at the point of trying to make a, another enchantment for this. So let's continue with that. And let's see if it works. So either the enchantment doesn't work, you can't have two protection enchantment, or it's the same thing as the, as the other armor, or it just doesn't show. So I don't know why the carbon armor is a good thing. Now, let me remove these death marker. They really annoy me right now. I would... Uh, that's what I wanted to show. I could have kept them and just hidden them. Which is what I'm going to do if we do another playthrough. And the other playthrough we end up uh, dying. Hopefully we never die. But that's what I wanted to do. But the carbon armor... I really don't know why it's a good thing. It's really one of those things where it seems to be the same as the dark steel or the diamond. So why go through this much pain of making the carbon if it's not going to be better? To be fair, I didn't make that armor because it didn't seem better in my other playthrough. But it must might be better. So here's one thing I'm going to do. In my other playthrough, I'm going to craft that armor just to test it maybe there's something special about the armor that i'm not seeing and that if i do craft the armor i end up discovering that it does work better airship workbench what am i missing i'm missing a crafting table what else am i missing i'm missing a fire charge what else am I missing? This is so easy to make. So this is one of those things that at the beginning of the game you're looking at and you're like, oh, this is hard. I, I can't make this right now. And when you get at this point in the game, it's it's so easy to make. So let's put that down right here. Oh, did it detect? Yes. Now I need a module minor speed. So minor speed right here. So I need some logic. Oh. So it doesn't work here. It must work in the upgrade thing. One, two, three, four, five. Um, let's make more red redstone and cobblestone. 
cobblestone. You know what? I'm going to make the whole stack of material that I have. It's not as if it costs so much. That's going to be 21 logic, but that's not what it wants. It wants the module minor speed. So I'm going to need to keep four of these. And I'm pretty sure that if I can't make the basic one in the normal crafting, I'm going to have to do it here. So fire charge, which funnily enough, I have another two. And then what else did I need? Uh, two gold ingot, one, two, and one diamond. Diamond and one, like so. And so gold, gold, diamond, fire charge like this. And the logic chip around, which means we now have this done in a balloon colorizer. Don't know what it's for. I'm going to put all of that back in here because I'm not really using the airship. There's nothing so much interesting to explore around here. Unfortunately, that see, that's another thing that I'm not sure that I like about this pack. They have the airship and they want you to explore. And when you go to the island, you find a couple of ore. So in my second playthrough, I'm going to use the airship a lot because I'm going to go find some iron to jump start my to get a jump start on everything. I'm going to try to find some more minerals. But once you found the minerals, the other island like this, it gives you one or two extra bubbles that you don't really need. And I found another one, which is like an underwater dungeon. And that's almost impossible to survive. It's like the nether that you even wonder why, why it's there. Like it doesn't seem to be in step with the difficulty of the pack. So one quest line finally finished and we are stuck on the nether on that, which means I'm at the point where I'm going to stop this episode, go into my time lapse, and I'm going to try and get information as how to fix my nether or just start deciding on either jumping the net the two quests for the nether do i need to go back to the nether for anything else wither skeleton's call i have i think the other mobs i think everything else is not in the nether so i could technically just auto detect that task is completed and then continue this this playthrough and keep on preparing my second season but guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye now